Discord. <laughs> Oof. Um. Did did Craig strike again? Oh, we're back. Yeah, for me, I'm just seeing a Twitch ad on the feed. <laughs> so I'll take your word for it. <laughs> we uh, we we don't have uh, a video yet. We're stuck on the home screen. Okay. The audio? We're we're stuck on the waiting for input screen. Ooh. Audio, audio. Don't worry. Don't worry about that noise. Uh, okay. Okay, we won't. I'm not I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. <laughs> freaking out. I'm not freaking, freaking out. out. I don't want to freak out. Freak out. <laughs> um You sure we're not live? It looks to me like we are. Okay, my point on. of view. Well, that's awesome. So we've been sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to Roll Die for Adventure presents Cyberpunk. Hi, I'm Allison. I play Jinx. <laughs> I'm Arky. I play Red Eye. <laughs> you didn't remember your name, did you? Wow. I'm I'm Jason. I play cavalry. I am cyberpunk. I don't play anybody. I just tell these guys to roll dice. And we apologize about that. Uh, we got a remote producer tonight, and so thank you, Umbrella Chicken. Thank you for doing yeah. this, uh, you Umbrella Chicken. We appreciate you. Yeah. Uh... You actually did better than we thought you were. <laughs> you did everything right, just as a bunch of assholes didn't know we were alive. <laughs> At least we weren't on screen picking our nose. Oh, wait, maybe we were picking our noses. I don't think I was. <laughs> All right. All right. What? Are we getting a summary of where we were last time? Because I totally remember, but I'm going to see if you remember. <laughs> yes, I will give a uh, free uh, experience point to anyone who can give me a summary of what's happening. We met uh, the mechanic Jinx. We drove through the city and she blowed up people <laughs> that and happened ended, uh, up at a church yeah where zara and i went in the building to uh engage with the enemy oh and, and you did forget though that our our, our new techie uh, took the eye from the bag lady that that she blew up, and was able to yes, find out where she. I was. did, but I I got the gist of it, so I got those three experience points, right? Hey, it was a neon church. I get the experience points now, right? No. <laughs> oh, because you didn't step One up and talk. That's all I'm giving. You said what? <laughs> you said one point. For one point for each of us. All right. That's all I'm giving. And uh, yeah, uh, you are 
hired to track down a college girl named Lucy Reinheimer uh, who went missing and what did I say four days previously no two days two days uh, is over now and uh, you've uncovered a lot of clues uh, some of them are relevant some of them are not at all relevant so that's why I wanted you guys to give us the a uh, recap. I wanted to see what you thought was important that happened. So I learned something there. Okay. Yeah, there was two 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 people that were just coming. They were getting ready to enter the church. One was a, a guy that kind of looked like a a, a vampireish type thing because he was all white and pasty, and the other guy was, um, uh. Uh, what was he it, was uh, tan and looked like he just come off the beach. Yeah, it was a former clown guy, and uh, the other one was a, uh, another one. But they they don't get or they don't get along very well because they were they were in opposing gangs, and so we're kind of scratching our head as to why they're they're kind of buddy buddy. It was the bozo. One was a bozo, and then the other one was the weird looking people. I didn't write it down. Inquisitor. <laughs> Inquisitor, yes. Oh, impressive. All right, yes. And do you remember who hired you? I wasn't there when someone got, when I got hired, so. Uh, let's see oh. here. It was... I don't know. I had to move. In a moment. <laughs> they talked to Zara, not me. Yeah, yeah, that's Zara did do a lot of the talking there. <laughs> or no, drag. That was that was one of the notes that we uh, that was in her in uh, Lucy's um, agent. <laughs> Yes, was the, the character that you hired you hired them to is... find the daughter. Well, it was Karen? it was no, it was Lucy's dad's uh, assistant that hired us. I just can't. The, the, he he looks like um, one of the old school Dracula uh, characters. Correct. He looks like Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi. That's right. I remember. And you guys were calling him Drac, so it was an accurate answer. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, okay. I consider us to be uh, caught up. Uh, the tactical situation is that there are... Uh, Two characters who are sitting in the limo, uh, parked outside of this old abandoned church, and uh, two characters who sneaked inside and uh, who has become only one active uh, player character now, because Shannon couldn't make it tonight. So, who are their names now? Cannon fodder. <laughs> you know, in another realm, we would have called that fresh meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and I have not decided uh, how narratively we're going to handle um. Uh, the fact that uh, Zara is not here. So for the moment, she just has that glazed in PC look in her face. <laughs> well, she's, 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 she's still high on that uh, on the the smash that uh, that she had earlier. She's fighting in, off in, imaginary in vampires on the back. <laughs> she's standing there like when you get kicked from Fortnite. <laughs> Uh, 
I could be really brutal and have uh, her turn against you. That would uh, that would uh, kind of be precedent in the story for that. But I'm not that mean. And uh, to be blunt, this is not going to be the easy part of the game anyway. So we should stay in the car is what you're saying. Just stay in the limo. <laughs> I got to go find me a hiding spot. <laughs> That is the spot with the most hit points around you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying in a Mazda spot. <laughs> Speaking of the limo, uh, Calvary, our uh, local lawman, and Jinx, our new tech, are sitting in the limo, and they are seeing these uh, two figures who arrived in an unmarked, sketchy-looking van, the same van that you were searching for, uh, parked outside, and started to walk towards the door. And I believe that when we left off, you had just um, sent a message through your agents uh, to alert the two uh, 'er ne'er-do-wells who had skullduggeried their way inside. So let's pick off, pick up what's happening in the limo. <laughs> let's pick off. Let's pick off Red Eye. <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> oh, wait, I said too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Um, uh, hey, 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 Jinx, do you think it's possible for you to maybe sneak up over it to to the that white van and see what's going on inside of it and maybe see what they have inside that that we could use to our benefit i still have the eye of that one um what's her face the bag lady i blew up eye of the bag lady yeah just like roll that underneath the van and see what i can see <laughs> if you make me laugh, the answer is probably yes. <laughs> well, I think you made him laugh, so yeah. <laughs> Great, because it doesn't sound like a place where I want to be, but you know, I can take a look. <laughs> I, I, I hope you have the eye on a string, because more than likely, when you roll it under there, the eye is going to be facing down towards the street instead of up into the. Like a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, picture. The, <laughs> the eye is not built to be a uh, remote camera. Um, huh? It may have its own power source, but it's mm-hmm. certainly not trans. But it's certainly not transmitting any data wirelessly. So I'm going to need a dice roll to see um, uh, how well you. Jury rig this. Gotcha. Is this a okay. 10 or a 6? It'd be a 10. Okay. 10? Yep. Start by rolling your 10 side, please. Hey, Scott, and I'm going to. Video, video. Oh. Uh, um, right. It landed on its side. <laughs> I don't even know how it landed on its side. <laughs> it landed on its side. <laughs> I think I have to roll again. But there's no numbers facing up. It landed there on the edge. Or- I don't. I'm not picky. How's my camera? Good. All right, I'm gonna try this again. All right. I'm not able to uh, log into Twitch uh, because uh, because of the weird way I have this set up. I would have to turn off my camera in order to log into Twitch on my computer. Uh so um uh I'm just ended folks. I am I'm seeing your messages. Um, ignore that I see just ignore that. Just ignore so that. what's that? Your putty tats. It's for my cat. Puking <laughs> something up someplace. I'll find it later. I'm sure. That's great. Um, I rolled a six. <laughs> Okay, six. Good. (laughs) 
All right. Yeah, uh, if you look on your character sheet, the um, number thingy. Find a. Thank you. Thank you. I I prefer to use the technical term. If you look on your number thingy, <laughs> um, uh, there is going to be a skill that I think is called uh general mechanics or basic mechanics. Basic tech. Basic tech, yes. Okay. All right. What are the numbers listed there? Stat is six, level is six, and total is 12. Okay. All right. So you're adding 12 to your uh, dice roll. Okay. Uh, that's going to be adequate enough, but as a tech, you also get to roll, um, if I remember right, uh, an extra two point. Add another two points to uh, your jury rigging rolls. So that brings you up to 20, which is more than enough. I'm just, I'm just going over the numbers so we understand how this works. And um, we mentioned uh, last time that you do have both a, a tool bag and a tool hand, cybernetic tool hand. Yes. And um, those are a little redundant. They do do the same thing in the system. So uh, how about uh, in order to differentiate them and make them a little more interesting, uh, how about the tool bag is the uh, bag of everything. Hmm? Alice's that handbag is of holding. <laughs> Uh, but uh, your tool hand will say um, you've already made that into an excellent quality item. So it so when you choose to use the tool hand, it's going to add an extra plus one point to your roll. Gotcha. So which are you using this time, the tool bag or the tool hand? Well, I have duct tape. I'm assuming pole yes. someplace. So I'm going to duct tape it to a pole. Okay. Are we talking about the eyeball? Yeah. Great. So your roll is a 20. You only needed a 14. Uh, you now have the eyeball. Awesome. You now have this uh, eyeball that has been made into a remote camera. It is beaming uh, a message to your agent so you can see what the eyeball sees. Now, are you sneaking over to the van, or are you tossing the eyeball? I think um, I think I'm gonna duct tape uh, a string or a chain to it and just kind of toss it almost a yo-yo like. Okay, now I would like to be an athletics roll. So roll me a ten. That is one thing that Jigs does not way. have. We're going to the second phase if you're throwing um, that... a is that the six or a ten? That'll be a ten again. That'll be a ten, ten cider. Again. Okay. Yeah, you do have the athletic skill because that's something that every edge runner gets. Gotcha. All right, I rolled an eight, and then athletics. Yeah. Stat five, level two, total seven. So fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. That's a really good toss, actually. Uh, yeah, you can get that inside the. You can get that inside the van, under the van. You can put it wherever you want. Inside, inside. Okay. <laughs> okay, inside the van. Uh, first of all, um, you get it to toss in the window. Uh. And it rolls around a little. Uh, makes you a little bit dizzy watching it on your agent, <laughs> but not too bad. Uh, in the front seat, uh, you see uh, uh, empty cans of sake. Uh, you see uh, empty cigarette packs. It's kind of nasty. In the back, so uh, you. In the back, you see uh, zip ties, duct tape. Um, uh, a little bit of blood on the carpet. All of this stuff that you were hoping that you wouldn't see back there. I didn't know it was going to be this kind of party. 
You do not see anyone inside the van, though. Is there other shelves or anything like that, or is it just kind of an empty van with nothing else in it? Yeah, it looks like the back, uh, it used to be a passenger van, but the back seats were taken out in order to make it a nice uh, mobile dungeon. <laughs> they're, they're like handcuffs hanging on the walls or something? Yes. Remember, it says, want some free candy on the side of the van. <laughs> and uh, someone wrote a lipstick on the inside of the van. There was no candy. <laughs> so, uh, Calvary, uh, what would, um, while Jinx is doing something with a bloody cyber eye, uh, what were you doing? Well, I am going to man the grenade launcher just in case if we need to, to, uh, get it in for the cross. Okay. Make it some sort of distraction. <laughs> okay. Do does anyone here have a cyber ear? Does anyone have advanced hearing? I don't think you do. Nope. Just checking. Okay. The two. I have a shotgun. Is that the same thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> The two characters who got out of the van, they look like uh, they're arguing about something, and they're standing right at the doorway. And one of them uh, points inside the church, and then the other one uh, points at the limo, and then they point each other and jab each other in the chest. But you cannot hear what they're saying. If only, if only that she would have had a cyber ear in addition to a cyber eye, it could be taking care of this. <laughs> hey, Red Eye. What's Red Eye Yo. up to these days? I'm freaking out, man. I've been trying to talk to Zara for like the last 20 minutes and she ain't said shit. Yeah, there you you're starting to suspect that there was more in that can of smash than just the smash. Uh something that had a delayed effect because uh she's kind because uh she's now uh uh sitting at the bar and uh she's drinking an empty glass and she's talking to a bartender that's not there. And and even then, her uh, speech is kind of slurred. Well, shit. <laughs> um, uh, Red Eye, are, 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 are we Snafu? We are uh, Fubard. <laughs> do, you, do you need me to make a distraction out here? Um... Maybe. <laughs> All righty. You said well, that I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by hit points, right? So I'm going to aim the grenade launcher so that way the grenade would land at the feet of these two gangsters sitting arguing outside the door. And press the red button <laughs> to launch. Okay, I would like some initiative rolls now. Since we are in combat. Ten yes. or the six? That would be a ten sider. And you are going to add your reflex stat, which is at the top of number thingy. This is either a zero or a ten. That's a ten. Okay. Woo! So I got a 15. 
What am I adding? Excellent. Oh, 18. Your, your reflex. Reflex? It's okay. RDF. It's right. way at the top of your. I got oh, a 14, 14. Game Guru. All right. Looks like you all beat these two. Uh, yeah, the clown is really slow. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going. So uh, here's what happens. Uh, the two of them uh, turn to go in opposite directions. Uh, the monk looks like he's going into the. Uh, he grabs the door and he's going to go in inside. And then uh, the bozo. Uh, turns the other direction and takes a step towards the limo, and right then, the edge runners spring into action. Now, Allison, uh, hmm. you rolled the highest, and you actually roll higher than you realize because you rolled a ten. You need to roll your ten cider again and add that number to what you already rolled. Uh, four. Four. Okay, so your initiative is a full um, 20. Okay. And uh, only had to be to 12. <laughs> <laughs> so you may go first, and if you we don't have an action to do, you can hold your action uh, until something else happens. You said there's a clown walking towards us? Yes. Specifically, there's a clown walking towards me. There is. Great. I have a shotgun. I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns at all. I don't like clowns. What do I roll for a shotgun? And how close do I you would, you would roll your 10-sider, and then you would add uh, your skill, which I believe is called shoulder arms. Yes. Okay. That's... <laughs> yes, if that's on your character sheet, it's going to be called shoulder arms. If you don't have that skill, then it's simply going to be your reflex. I rolled a two, but my shoulder arms is 13. Oh, shit. Nice. All right. That is a total of 15. And uh, Calvary, you were driving. Uh, would you like to specify how close you parked? the limo to the church inside the church. No, we were, I was just say <laughs> inside the church i knew we were parked across the street in uh uh kind of in a, a warehouse i thought it was where we were at okay a basketball court two basketball courts uh i would i would say we'd probably be about a basket court uh away Okay. All right. Firing a shotgun at that range is a DV-20. Not ideal range for that particular, for that particular weapon, but uh, definitely doable. So what was your total roll, Allison? Uh, 15. 15. Okay, uh, it's going to be, that's going to be not adequate. Um, shots going, um, shot came up a, a little bit short. Did it make him poop his pants? Come on. <laughs> Let me make a control roll. Uh, <laughs> Let me make a concentration roll here. Hey, he is a bozo, so you never know what might happen. Okay, I just... All right, I just wasted an absolutely awesome roll. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this guy has a uh, legend has legendary bladder control. 
So no, he didn't. He didn't <laughs> shit his pants. <laughs> no, but uh, as a gag, um, a uh, uh, brick uh, does drop out of the bottom of his robes and hits the ground underneath him. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, uh, very soon he's going to be at closer range. <laughs> if that's any consolation, Allison. <laughs> yep. uh, very I'm soon he's going to be. will take care of the clown. <laughs> um, and uh, since you missed, uh, there is a uh a small chance that you're going to hit the guy who's behind him. Uh, roll me a six sider. One. <laughs> All right, you do not. You do not hit uh, that. Uh, you do put out a window of the van, though. <laughs> hey, man, I'll take that. Okay, and uh, who was next? I think the cavalry was next. Yep. All right. I was I, I I I was using the grenade launcher. Okay. <laughs> and it's got a rate of fire of two, so that means I get two attacks. That is correct. And your DV is going to be a fifteen. Oh, easier. That's right. So give us that first roll, please. <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> nice. I was like, here we go, we're in combat. That means he's not going to roll well. Okay, rather than waste... Uh, maybe you're not... Maybe you don't need that second shot. Maybe it would be a waste of ammo. So let's go ahead and uh, roll your damage. I think that's five six-siders? Uh, 66. Six six-siders, okay. 66. <laughs> Nineteen points. Cool. Ooh. Okay, how many of those came up as sixes? One. That is not a critical injury. Um, but uh, both of them were uh, hit in that blast radius since you shot it right between their feet. Uh, roll me the same damage for your second target. We'll say that the first is the Bozo, the second is the Inquisitor. Jason, you still and two Seven. sixes. Oh! That's a critical injury. All right. The damage, uh, it hurt both of them this a lot. Won't... But it was not enough to outright kill either of them. These guys actually do have some armor underneath their robes, unlike most of your victims. <laughs> okay, critical injuries to the body. Uh, Jason, please roll me 2d6. We're looking for a number between t 2 and 12. 4. Four. Collapsed lung. Shockwave. <laughs> Minus two to movement and uh, base death save penalty is increased by one. Uh, requires a paramedic skill to quick treat. Requires surgery to fix. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, there's uh, that uh, Definitely had effect. Uh, they both kind of go ragdolling. Uh, but you st but uh, you still have your second barrel of your grenade launcher primed and ready to go. Are you going to shoot your second grenade? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, he is. For, He's gonna I'm hoping for a up. 10 this time. 10-sider. <laughs> Roll it. Nope, it was a 9, so it took... Uh... <laughs> 21. Okay, that is another hit. <laughs> Let's see. 
Oh, uh, roll your damage for the bozo. He's the one that still looking dangerous. That's always a good sign. Either he critically failed or he got a lot of sixes. Twenty-eight. How many sixes? <laughs> <laughs> My camera. Three not sixes. Not three sixes. Three sixes. Twenty-eight points of damage. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh... Yeah, that's going to be enough to outright kill him. But uh, let's go he ahead and mist. He turns into mist. Except for like one sad little horn that just goes. <laughs> and water comes out of his flower as it's <laughs> Slow, slowly like tears <laughs> just seeps out. Okay. Um, do I have the. There it is. All right, uh, we're going to use an optional rule here. The uh, Night City Tarot deck, uh, which becomes, which is a different critical injuries uh, deck for when you roll a uh, three sixes on your damage <laughs> roll. Okay, and there are... 21 of these, uh... Oh, what do you roll on this? It, it, would, it would be funny as if, like, when... Uh, oh. since this was, like... Okay, uh, roll... Like the guy bone <laughs> fragments, like, impale the other guy or something like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Roll me a 10-sider and a 6-sider and add them together. We're actually supposed to shuffle a deck and draw cards from it, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. The nine is... Ah, the hermit. The hermit forcibly invites you on a journey inward. Effect. The victim suffers the lost eye critical injury twice. <laughs> Though the penalty for the injury is only applied once, that should leave the target without any ability to sense an opponent. Any skill checks they make suffer an additional minus four modifier, as if obscured by smoke or darkness. And as so happens, the bozo was uh, the guy with the cyber eyes. So, uh, so <laughs> you just not still intact, by the way. What's the cyber eye still intact? Uh, the one inside the van? Yes. Okay, the one that just blew out of his eyes? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. No. They got, uh, they got smashed and uh, liquefied, and they're just shrapnel now. <laughs> they, they don't They work. are the chicken of the chili that was this bozo. <laughs> They are the croutons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, go ahead and roll your damage for uh, the last guy. The Inquisitor? Yeah. Okay, this one's not as good. This is the other face that you see. This is the, the, the fail. Look like that, that he looks like he's shitting his pants is always means it's not good. The wince. The wince is also... 27? Oh. And three sixes? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That's awesome. Why, why can't you roll like this in Pathfinder? <laughs> Our... Uh, Jason, please roll me that, uh, 10-sider and 6-sider again. Just for giggles, let's see which tarot card you pull. Is this guy missed, too? 11. 11. Oh, probably. How 
the heck? Oh, okay. It's 8 or 11. The strength card. Strength empowers an attack with overwhelming force. The attack deals an additional 25 damage. This additional damage is added to the roll damage before armor is subtracted and or the multipliers are calculated. Okay. Not, 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 not only is he just liquefied, he's atomized. He uh, yeah, you inflict uh, over twice the hit points that this guy had in the first place. <laughs> I was gonna so say, his, like, at this point in time, like destroy the doorway as well, and all the other stuff. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there going. Uh, the door was in the blast radius. Uh, it was a sturdy door. It did not Good have that girl. many hits. Right? Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to polish you, and I'm going to get some WD-40 and make sure you're all nice and shiny. I'm gonna look over your shoulder and say, "Can I? Can I? Can I use it?" <laughs> okay, uh, we'll treat this as a metal door. Twenty hit points, and yeah, uh, red eye. Uh, the door just came off of its hinges and moved uh, halfway across the chapel and kind of landed. Uh, crushing one of the tables and one of the corpses that was propped up next to it. <laughs> the so door come... got punted. <laughs> I, I, I come out of my hiding spot. I walk to the doorway and I look over. <laughs> I, I kind of pick my head up from the turret. <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, uh, Red Eye, you still get a turn before the Mooks <laughs> turn comes to the initiative. But all they're going to do is bleed. <laughs> so, um, you're to, te to declare your action if you want to. Uh, I'll, just, I was... I'll just hold it, <laughs> squeeze it off. <laughs> Unless I can. Because we were trying to get in and, like, do something with the, the the security systems and shit like that, right? Weren't we? Yeah, that was the original plan. I don't think that's going to work anymore. <laughs> we're, not, we're not being stealthy anymore. <laughs> so there's a good chance that they know I'm here. You are in the combat zone. Uh, the neighbors have heard grenades go off before, but uh, not normally two, uh, one right after the other. <laughs> that might raise a few eyebrows. And uh, normally not upstairs, in case there was anyone in the basement, or, or downstairs in case there was anyone in the attic. I, I, I'd I only say grab Zara and book it out of there and we can uh, um, maybe regroup and <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, I'm in a little shock at the moment. Uh, I I was trying to be sneaky and we we got we, we, we got boom. <laughs> I, I, I look at the the cans like we wanted a distraction, but um, that was a little much. <laughs> but good job, good girl. <laughs> we were look looking for a little breeze, and and we got a fucking tornado, hurricane, <laughs> or hurricane. Are there any indications that anyone is coming? Downstairs or from upstairs? I Good. am going to make a run for it with Zara. Uh, the answer is no. You did not see any other uh, lights come on inside the chapel. It was already pretty well lit up. It had electricity. It had uh, a lot of candles inside. 
Uh, it had uh, one dude hanging from the ceiling, uh, bleeding. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna regroup because I don't want to be in there okay. by myself. <laughs> All right. So you're able to uh, lead uh, Zara out and uh, maybe tell her along the way, uh, watch where you step, dear. <laughs> don't step in the skull. Don't don't worry. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Don't don't, don't mind the red here. stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Yeah. You, your secret is safe with me, Zara. <laughs> and there is um, uh, clearly no salvageable uh, weapons or uh, cybernetics on these two bodies. I uh, I I carefully step over a skull. I don't want to contaminate the crime scene. Man. Sorry, what was that, Allison? Did they leave the keys in the van? Um, if you spend a luck point, the answer is yes. Great, I'm taking the van. Okay. What? <laughs> you are a klepto. <laughs> they aren't going to use it. <laughs> that is okay, true. so they're dead. We 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 do have though another end though. So instead of using the limo, we can use the van to... We can use the van to get in. Yeah. All right, so... Uh, on top of that, too, I, I, I can... When we get it back to the shop, I can uh, use my, my, my new uh, uh, skill that I, I picked up along the way in the, on, the, in the, on the force and do a crime scene investigation on it. See what other stuff I can figure out from it. Who are you? That's going to pull the group. Is there any specific spot that you're driving to? We don't have a just... base yet. Like, do you guys have a base yeah. or am I going back to like my place? Well, you've got all the tech stuff there that we can that we could uh utilize, plus you got a garage that we could park the the van in to be able to to inspect it. Yes. Okay. All right, so we're going to pull over there, our, but I'm going to stop. Jinx's, just gonna, Jinx's, Jinx's lab button. just became... Jinx's lab just became our base. <laughs> With the haunted dolls hanging out. <laughs> off all the, the, trees. the haunted dolls have to go. No, no, the dolls stay. It's for the ambiance. I, 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 I find it kind of ironic that she can't stand clowns. Oh. Dolls. But, but headless dolls, 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 dolls or away. just doll heads. And, 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 how do I keep people away from this? I make it horrifying to me because it's going to be horrifying to other people. <laughs> okay, yeah. you get back to uh, Jinx's uh, garage, um, and she's got she's got everything here that a tech could need. She's got uh, the 3D printer for plastics, a 3D printer for uh metals she's got um everything everything set up so that she could build anything that she imagines and but you have but you have to move the headless dolls and the doll heads out of the way in order to reach any of that that is so weird <laughs> it's like and reaching I'm your hand into a space that's got a little leather but it's got place. a bunch of Insects crawling all over it. <laughs> I just think of that. Okay. You know, and that's what it looks like. All right. I lost a couple of camera feeds, but I think that it's because of my internet on my side. Uh, Jason, are you able to see everyone else? Yep, I can see everybody. Okay. Uh, all right. I can still hear you guys just fine. Okay, and Arky's back on my screen now. Groovy. Uh, Jason, did you uh, get a chance to read over that uh, new forensics ability rule? I did. I've seen investigation. Okay, so you know how to use that. Well, I won't say I know how to use it. I just know what it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the van is parked, and uh, 
um, uh, cavalry set uh, goes into the trunk of the limo and starts pulling out all this gear. Uh, he sets up uh, four posts around that project little holographic crime scene tape around the van. I'm like, you and already moved it. Set- Why are you putting up the crime scene tape? Well, it, it, it's going to map everything that's on the van, inside the van, under the van, on top of the van, in the engine. I, it, it's just going to map everything, and we're going to be able to get a lot of information out of this, hopefully. Great. You don't have location turned on in that thing, right? No. You lying? There's no location, there, there's, there's, no. there's no location thing on this. No. GPS? <laughs> What's GPS? <laughs> Jason, please roll it. Only the ten side. Okay, this is something that we saw in Cyberpunk uh, 2077, but uh, even in uh, that game, I don't think that this technology ever was given a name. He's just um, taking... Um, uh, 3D scans of everything within his uh, crime scene area and uh, letting the computers, uh, with a little of his guidance, uh, recreate uh, what may have happened there. So what's your total roll, please? All right, so I rolled a six. Okay. That's my base. Yes. Um, so I need to do the three scans. Okay. No, okay, that's just for how long it lasts. Okay, investigation skills what I'm looking for. Did I get the skill name wrong? I think it's investigation. Well, it says it says investigation, but I'm wondering if it's supposed to be criminology. You know what? I think that you're right. This is this is why we play test it. Okay, uh, please add your criminology base. All right, so that would be a 13 added to it, so a total of 19. 15. Okay, I was going to ask for 15. Uh, 19 reveals quite a lot. Uh, you've got uh, it. Re- it reveals uh, base. It reveals everything except a uh, positive ID of people involved. There were uh, two figures um, who uh, carried a third unconscious, slightly smaller figure into the van, drove away. And then, uh, pull, and then uh, they rode in the driver and the passenger seat at the front of the van. Uh, the figure and the unconscious figure was riding in the back of the van. When they got, when they stopped the van and they got out, they opened the door, and a fourth figure who stood about seven feet tall uh, opened the back of the van and uh, picked up the unconscious figure. Okay. So you're about 90% certain that the first two figures were uh, the monk and the clown. All right, so... And the seven-foot-tall figure, you have not seen that character yet. All right. So, since this is kind of a windowless van, essentially, and it's got a, a camera on the front for the um, uh, the driver to base, basically see where they're going, mm-hmm. uh, Jinx, is it possible for you to hack into the computer module I'm on this offended. thing to see if it's... I am offended. I think, uh, Kurt, I think Kurt's going to be a little offended by I am here. offended. <laughs> You're asking a tech when you have the world's greatest hacker 
right I figured here. This was, I figured this was below your 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 skill set. I'm trying to save it now, right? Trying to save save face. Too late. <laughs> Damage is done. Why would you be wanting to mess around in an unprotected uh, computer system? I'm sorry. I'm trying not to laugh through that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be indignant. Go ahead. <laughs> Jinx. Oh, okay. Uh yes. Um roll your I basic tech. See, I wanted to see cavalry go. Up, 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 up. <laughs> Actually, I will give you a choice, Allison. You may roll either your uh, basic tech or your electronic slash security tech. Either one. Use one or the it's other. The same. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think you'd want to use your, your nice, beautiful cyber deck to, in an unclean, unprotected uh, hardware system. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Bullshit. It doesn't. It doesn't like to do uh, unprotected uh, <laughs> net running. <laughs> um, am I rolling a ten? Safe net Sorry. running is the best net running. <laughs> Please roll a ten side, and you're only going to need a roll of a twelve to do this. I rolled a six, and the my uh, uh electronic security like it's, it's twelve. A plus okay. Twelve. Nicely done. Well, uh, yeah, uh, you might have been in trouble had you rolled a one, but uh, <laughs> you didn't roll a one. You rolled a six. So yes, you were able to extract the video um going. For the, of this van going back the last, let me roll a couple six siders, eight days. Okay. Um, is there video on the front and the back? Because they need a backup too, right? So they'd have a backup camera as well? Good point. The answer will be yes. Okay. So then we might be able to see the guy who was in the back before they opened the doors. Um. Yes. Uh, yes, you... Okay, you're able to see him. Uh, quite clearly. That's a pretty good argument. Let me post a picture of the dude you see. Well, I got... It must have been important enough that uh, in the game for him to actually have a picture. Uh, at least we weren't going down too far of our rabbit hole. There we are. Okay, I'm going to paste this in the Discord channel. Come on. Open. Open. Oh my goodness. Come on, Discord. I'm on Discord. There we go. Oh. Oh my. Nosferatu? Yes. Nosferatu. Figure looks exactly like Count Orlock from the old black and white Nosferatu, and he is in black and white. <laughs> Much like Lugosi uh, was. This is, this is comforting. This. Why, are you guys, why are you guys messing with vampires? Don't look at me. Zara yeah. took the job. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zara. One. Zara is now sleeping off the smash. <laughs> okay, so are you guys ready to go back to the chapel now? Go to the chapel grab them. and we're gonna kill some vampires. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. Um, yes, uh, since you do have a rear view camera, uh, you do get a solid picture of Lucy Reinmeier being pulled out of the back of the van. Now, can definitely... we tell if, 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 if uh, when she was pulled out, it was pull, she was pulled out of the van at the chapel, or was it at a different location? It was at the chapel. At the chapel, okay. Yeah, it was parked on the same... Yeah, the van was parked in the same spot where you found it when you stole it. 
All right, so we, we, we've got a couple ways we can do this. Since there's three people that were part of this, uh, two, two people were uh, dragging an unconscious one into the van and then went to the place to, or went, went to the chapel, and there's three of us. Two of us can be acting like the thugs, and the, the third person could be the unconscious, well, unconscious one, even though they won't be unconscious. I'll be the unconscious one. As you're talking, I'm just grabbing neon cross after neon cross, throwing them ahead, putting them in the pockets. Okay. Um, Grab, like, you know, one of those spotlights that you use when you're out, like, hunting. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen those. The, 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 the 15 around. million candle candle uh, oh, yeah. lamps. Yeah, okay, I got, you like, got three it. of them. <laughs> okay, that's going in the tool bag. Um, and um, um, a couple of uh, extra road flares with a flare gun. Oh, good idea. <laughs> the... Uh, at this point, um, I've, I've never said to players before, are you sure you want to do that? But I'm going to say it now, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the uh, character that you're going after has very impressive stats. Had Zara been with you, I would have given you like a uh, 70% chance of coming of coming out on top of the next battle. Since Zara is not with you, I'm going to ask, let's see, uh, Arky, I'm going to ask you to roll a six-sider because uh, somebody else is going to show up uh, who may either help or harm you. On a roll of a one or a two, it's the Maelstrom. On a roll of a three or a four, it's the Philharmonic Vampires. On the roll of a five or a six, it's going to be uh, Trace Santiago, the media who you met earlier. So I don't want to roll a five or a six. Well, I think the Trace is great, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I the rolled... opposite. I rolled a five. Well, that's actually okay. better than the other ones. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, he, he shows up armed, uh, so that's going to be uh, uh, one more gun that you can bring to the fight. Nice. Uh, Did we get that 70% yeah, uh, chance? It's now 50 50 if we, we live or die. Oh, I'll give you slightly better odds than that. Okay. 55. And, uh, call, 45. Uh, an old hoopty uh, drives up clunk, 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 into uh, the junkyard. And uh, comes to a stop uh, right next to the van, just as Calvary is finish just as Calvary is finishing up. And the window rolls down, and uh, Trey Santiago says, "Hey guys, yeah, hey, yeah, I knew that you're in my place. <laughs> Who are you, and why are you here?" I, I, oh. I think he, I think his vehicle needs a tune-up. I put a tracer on the limo. Sorry about that. Oh. oh. All right. Uh, red, red, red eye. Uh, I, I think we may need to make a, a or add an item to our our daily security checklist of of sweeping for tracking devices. You got it, Boy Scout. <laughs> Uh, not 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 to say that it's not nice to see a tray, but um, why are you here? Why are you here? Well, uh, he says, uh, I'm with her. 
and he points to the driver's seat. <laughs> okay, I like uh, her. Then, Discord, uh, this character steps out. Uh, you met her. her and go... I'm sorry. I'm going to look at her and go, hey, buddy. <laughs> Miss me? Yeah. Yeah, the machine steps out and she says. And she just, uh, she just nods her head. And Trey says, uh, yeah, she, um, she's kind of in a mood. She's going through some things. And, uh, and, uh, we're, oh, oh, how do I put this? And then the machine says, I'm quitting the Maelstrom. Deciding to get out of town, uh, Trace said that he can hook me up with a nomad gang. Apparently his parents are uh, really well-known nomads. But I'm this getting... kind of sudden. I'm getting out of the booster life. First, I wanted I didn't to choose the booster life. It chose me. First, I wanted to speak with Jinx. Hey, Jinx. Hey, what's do up? Do you like? Do you like working for the Maelstrom? It's better than working for corporate. All right. That's it. That's, I mean, it's fine. I don't know. It's not vampires, it's not clowns, and it's not the corporate. Yeah. Oh, you got a better offer? No, but I had a feeling that you were going to mention vampires. That's why I wanted to stop by here on my way out of town. Uh, listen, the Maelstrom's not going to be happy with me, so if you want to... Uh, stay on their good side. Don't mention that you saw me. See who? Where? However, the vampire that you're looking for, I do know a little something more about him. How did you know that we were looking for a certain vampire? Trey, did you also bug our limo? Trey said, no, but I probably should have. That's a good idea. Crap. Trey said, oh, look, um, me and the machine, uh, we hooked up and we, well, after we hooked up, uh, we, go, we started talk. we started comparing notes about, uh, what was happening in town and this story that I'm working on about missing girls, and we, uh, realized that, uh, when we put our stories together, that there's kind of a schism happening with the Philharmonic vampires right now. Uh, a lot of them, uh, those who stay on campus are the loyalists. And but there's another faction um, that was led by a uh, professor uh, who worked at the college. The cult. And this guy uh, used not only Philharmonic Vampire cybernetics, but uh, he also uh, bought some cybernetics from the Maelstrom. And when you put those two together, this guy has put in way too much chrome in a short period of time. He has clearly gone cyber psycho. So I spoke with a Philharmonic vampire and found out that, yeah, this guy was saying things about how he thought he was a real vampire and refused to take orders from the fake vampires anymore. So he's been kind of ostracized, and that was around the time that the girl started going missing on campus. The co-eds, sometimes boys, but mostly co-eds. So you're definitely dealing with a cyber psycho. 
and I want and we wanted to give you a heads up because that might not be something that you were prepared to deal with. No, no it would not have been. We we don't deal with cyber that. psychos. We're gonna have to talk about more money. Do you have any um uh, gear or do you have any weapons that are uh? Uh, tailored for fighting uh, against Borgs? Not, 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 not other than than Typhoon, which I that, but that's the that I've affectionately <laughs> named the, the 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 grenade Typhoon. launcher. Typhoon, huh? Oh yeah, that'll do the job. Um, I thought Cool Breeze take- was a good name. <laughs> All right. Uh, the machine says, "All right, just, just, just stop." Okay, you're. It, I can't stand to listen to this anymore. This is amateur hour. Let me tell you how it's done. You need EMP weapons. Emp weapons. Electromagnetic pulse. Yes, you need either a microwave gun or an EMP I know grenade. I'm playing dumb. I'm just showing my brains. If you use those, that will uh, shut down the systems on a cyborg like me. If you're too close to them when they go off, it'll shut down your stuff, too. Oh, that's good. So, yeah. We Maelstrom, we hate them, but I can show you how, but I can show you how to make one. I'm like, buddy, buddy. (laughs) I I will pay you pretty penny for one of them. All right. Okay, so uh, the machine invites herself inside uh, Jinx's uh, laboratory. And starts uh, grabbing uh, batteries and copper wire and says, all right, this is how you do it. So uh, Jinx uh, is going to be able to use her fabricate skill to make some EMP grenades. You can make upwards of one per hour, but uh, the sun's going down. So how many are you going to make? I'm going to make two, as many as possible. Minutes. I think I don't think we should go to the church dur- at night. Like, you need don't planning. Don't you know that's when you're supposed there, right? to fight vampires? <laughs> yeah. If you... Uh, I'm also going to look at Trey and it's like, um, I hope you ditched the intern. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, He's I dead. did. I did. Yeah, I, killed them. I dropped them back off at uh, the in, at the N54 Studios. Yeah, he's out of our hair for a while. All right, because I was gonna say, I hope you. Do, I hope he's not in the trunk. No, no, no. He's playing Elf Lines Online in his office, <laughs> which isn't even a real office. It's like a, a it's like an old janitor's closet. <laughs> I make those two help me assembly line style do things that I told them to do, simple things to increase the number of these I can make in an hour? Uh, no, no. it's supposed to take more than an hour. I was being generous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Um, so you're serious about uh, not waiting on... Uh, about not going back tonight, but going tomorrow morning. Is that what? To me, that makes more sense. I don't know about those guys, but I don't think that fighting vampires at the height of their powers is a brilliant idea. What is wrong with you? Someone superstitious. (laughs) Also, I'm currently, like, flipping on every ultraviolet light I can around the doll. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the doll. Some of these were seen way too many old style old movies. 
Did you not notice the amount of neon crosses that she's wearing? <laughs> Again, someone superstitious and watched way too many movies. Who was was it? Corey Feldman in the Lost Boys that was like that. I think so. Sounds right. Hey. So, you know, what you got to do is you need to find like liquid sunshine bullets is what it is. <laughs> I heard those are really you quick would... to make like five minutes. <laughs> you would have to invent uh, those and that would take all more time than you got. <laughs> Say, what is we do a motherfucking the... montage. MP. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to it. Okay, um... Bu -bu -bu. Yeah, uh... If you're going to spend all night making these... Ah, oh, they expensive. Yeah, uh, normally this would take you a week, but you'd be able to love them. So I'm going to, so I'm going to say you can make uh, 1d6 of these EMP grenades uh, by working through the night. Okay, so I roll a d6? Yep. Yeah, roll, roll a d6. A six. Roll a 6. <laughs> roll a 6. I rolled a six. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you rolled a one. <laughs> you have six grenades, and the way that these work is that uh, uh, when you pull the pin, um, it charges a uh, a capacitor inside, and then a uh, small explosive spreads and filings all around. It short circuits. Uh, any electronics it comes into contact with. I'm assuming when there's a, a timer on it so we don't fry ourselves? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're building it, so... Hmm. It can, so it can be as short or as long of a timer as you want. And uh, in game terms, when you uh, catch somebody with one of these in one of these grenade blasts, it's going to shut down oh. two cybernetic systems that are determined randomly. Gotcha. If this guy's all maxed out, who knows how many systems he actually has. Yeah, so uh, with uh, you being able to, to knock out two systems at a time, uh, you're definitely going to knock out something important even if we roll for it randomly. One of those two is going to be a useful thing that you're going to shut down. But if you get caught in the blast radius, then uh, the same thing happens to you. I'm What's the back. blast radius? Um, I think it's like uh it's i think it's around five feet all right so i'm gonna be 15 feet back yeah it's only one square okay so okay. no wait wait okay i'm getting that wrong <laughs> uh the blast radius is however uh big or as little as allison wants it to be But the normal blast radius would be uh, five meters. I'm going to go with something in 10 or 15 in case you don't quite hit. But my okay. plan is to duct tape this thing to um, an arrow <laughs> and shoot it at him. Oh, right. Zara would like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm thinking, do we want 10? 10 or 15? Uh, right. it, it, it... You are being paid more if you can return Lucy Reinmeyer alive. 
So there is a ticking clock. Tick tock, tick tock. 15 meters. I would say 10 because the 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 larger the blast radius, the the um, less effective it's going to be. Is that correct or? In game terms, no, not really. Everyone who's caught oh, in the really? blast okay. um, is going to uh, send for equal effects. It's, hmm. it's a little bit, yeah. Rules are a little streamlined in that way. All righty. 10 or 15? I'd say it's 15, then. 15. Okay. 15. You can even... Since you're building these yourself, you can even set a dial. <laughs> of course I'm going to have a dial, so it can go... <laughs> like one of those... All right, we're 5, 10, 15, uh, 30, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tick, tick, tick. Boom. And um, uh, there's definitely going to be something sticky on one side of it. Okay. Uh, the machine um says uh that she calls this design the wooden stake. <laughs> nice. Aptly named. All right, and uh, it is. Do, 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 do. Oh, we've still got time left. Yeah, I uh, almost forgot that you guys are in a different time zone than me. So yeah, we still have <laughs> to go. All right, let's go. Let's go hunt a vampire. It is now dawn in oh, Night City. Dad, I thought we were going at night. Oh. <laughs> no, you can leave your silver bullets at home now. Never I'm still bringing the flares. Fun. There's a basement in that place. Never get to have any The fun. flares, the spotlights, yeah. everything. Okay. Okay, a bright a uh, bright red dawn uh, floods over Night City. And Good. are you taking are you taking both vehicles? Yeah. When you return to the chapel. Go to the chapel. And... Okay. Gonna so who, who's, gonna, who's gonna ride in the, the 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 white van? Hi, Good kids. Want some candy? <laughs> so you're driving the van? <laughs> no, I'm driving the the limo. It's my baby. All right, I'll drive the van. All right. As fast and, as I uh, can, everywhere. <laughs> all right. Since uh, we're not worrying about prediction time, anyway, uh, does Jinx want to fabricate a couple of uh, cloaks like yes. you saw the minions wearing? Yeah. You can do that in your uh, your what garage. You That's how I remember this word. <laughs> Garage. In the in the, the garage. Glory. The garage. The okay. garage. Gotcha. All right, you don't. What? You do not look like these two characters underneath the robes, but you've got a couple of hooded robes now. Is it made out of aluminum? Aluminium. Aluminium. Oh, <laughs> dark cloaks. <laughs> okay. Transparent aluminum. All right. Who are the two oh, there characters? There is a button that they can press because I have some fiber tech. There is a button that, or a fashion where there is a button they can press that'll light up like little crosses all over it. <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> All right, so um, Trace asks if he and the machine can go with you guys because he wants uh, to get some footage of this event. He I'm thinks sure that it's going to go along. That's fine. It's going to be a headliner story. 
If it bleeds, it leads. And there's a lot of bleeding in this story. <laughs> um, uh, yes. Come more the right merrier. along. You know what? More the merrier. Like, Wait. hop in the van. Don't worry, I'm a good driver. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> sure, why not? Oh, good. Okay, then. We go... <laughs> All right, we go back to Union Chapel, uh, which looks a lot um, around dawn like it did around sunset. Uh, still old and creepy, but uh, it looks like somebody has been here and uh, cleaned up the uh, bloody uh, remains of the two muke of the two mooks that you blew up with grenades. Yeah, we did. Or I'm assuming it's still busted. I don't know. Let me roll. <laughs> um. Yeah. The door is the door is still missing. It's still waiting. Nobody's prepared that yet. <laughs> Who's going in first? I'm not. Can. This is one thing that we didn't do the first time around, but can we tell if there's an outdoor generator that is what's powering the chapel? That's a good um, question. No, it, it, you can walk around the chapel, and there is definitely not anything like that outdoors. Okay. So I was just thinking if we could cut the power to them. No, there were power lines running to the building, but there's been no electricity running through them for years and years. So they get an internal generator. Are there any like air vents that you can that we you'd be able to hear like a engine running that would be uh, that they that would that you would think that would a generator uh, would be making noise with? If you're walking around the perimeter, no, you don't see anything like that. Okay. Whatever's in the basement, it's pretty well sealed off. Hmm. Well, I guess our... Uh... How wide is the door, and how wide is the door to the basement? There's a stairwell that's running down to the basement, and it's uh, standard. Like it's like a uh, five feet wide. Okay. I'm going does in first. The, 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 does the van run off of gasoline? It runs off of Chew 2, which is the same uh, biofuel as the limo does. Okay. And the thing is, we need, to, we need Lucy alive if we're going to get paid in full. Because I was thinking we could set the, the, the van like on cruise control, have it go in and go kaplooey, but... Does she need to be alive, or do you, like, maybe have some friends who are, I don't know, necromancers who could, like, fix it? <laughs> this, this, this ain't Pathfinder or, 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 or the, 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 the other game that shall uh, remain nameless. <laughs> I'm just asking. Make, make, you know, you need to make some new friends. Better friends. Friends who can raise people from the dead if you need. It's the goblinless game, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> However, right, there While are you're some... contemplating, I'm like, you guys got like five minutes or I'm going to start just throwing torches in there. Yeah. <laughs> There are some really good boxers, 
if you want to be a goblin, they can make you into a goblin. <laughs> Furry or or an orc, pretty much anything you like. Right now, I'll stay tech. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna check my I'm my assault rifle. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, I parceled out any of the EM uh, F uh, things. EMPs do like there's a quick meeting to... you're going to or one of the yes. other guys. Okay, this uh, leads to a question, Jason. Are you loading the EMP grenades into your uh, grenade launcher, or are you carrying those in your hand? Well, since the grenade launcher is mounted on the van, I can't quite carry the, or not the van, but on, on the limo. I can't take the limo inside with me. You have two grenade launchers. One is the uh, standard uh, rate of fire one grenade launcher, which is on a sling. You can carry that one around. The oh. uh, rate of fire two, the exotic grenade launcher, that's the one that you mounted on the okay on the van. Okay, I didn't know we had both. I thought it was like one or the other type thing. I think I remember we decided, oh heck with it, uh, rather than uh, choosing one or the other, I just gave you one of each. Okay, I, no, hey, pff, I'm all right with that. No, I'm, I'm going to go in like Rambo then. I'll have my assault rifle on the back. I'll have <laughs> have pistol ready, and I'll get a knife there. And I'll, All right, let's do this. <laughs> I got my, my deck, and I got my Hello Cutie. Let's go. <laughs> okay, great. The... And uh, Allison has a shotgun, right? I have a shotgun. I have a couple of road flares. A um, bunch of neon crosses. A bunch of neon crosses. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, yeah, I have the flashlights and the spotlights I brought along, too. And you know what? Let's throw in a disco ball. I have a disco ball to shine the little flashlights off of. <laughs> Just, you know. I think that that will go very well with the aesthetic inside. Because <laughs> who wouldn't We're have going a to disco our ball? Rave. Who wouldn't All have those a disco it, ball? It, 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 it's one of the bag. little, like, the, the little ones that are, like, battery-operated that you get, like, at the out of the, the, the thrift store or whatever. <laughs> All right, who's going in first? Is Zara in the van sleeping, or do we leave Zara at the other place? Zara's at your lab with all the creepy yeah. dolls. All right, so you guys are walking in there Rambo style. I'm not walking oh, in Rambo style. I'm walking behind Boy Scout trying, looking for a good place to hide. This is for protection okay. only. I don't, I'm not going hunting. Okay, you did not need the cloaks at all. All right. So uh, you walk in. Uh, the security camera that was over the door has been, has been knocked off of its mounting. It's out of commission. So uh, there's no point in trying in trying to sneak past that. Uh, you walk inside. The place looks, other than smelling a little uh, more smoky, a lot like it did last night. Uh, all of the, the candles have burnt out. The dead bo uh, the body is now completely dead. He's no longer he was mumbling. He dead earlier. But, yeah. He is hanging from the uh, ceiling over the stage. He's not even dripping anymore. <laughs> I feel bad we didn't He's help with that one. <laughs> oh, well, you live and learn. I keep walking. <laughs> All right. Uh, Trace Santiago uh, with... Um, now with a pair of uh, flying camera drones is walking in behind you, and then uh, Machine brings up the rear. She's it's got her blade out, and she's got, the, and she's got her uh, mounted grenade launcher. 
popping out of her other arm. Does he have um a viewer for that little camera drone? I said, yeah, um, it's feeding to my internal agent. Great. Can you fly that thing downstairs? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so uh, one of his cameras uh, buzzes and zips down um, into the uh, interior, uh, into the basement, and the other camera drone uh, projects an uh, image of what the first camera drone is seeing onto a wall over the bar. So you're getting live feed. And the camera, uh, it goes down and it comes into what looks even more like a chapel. Uh, there is some classical music playing uh, from somewhere. Sounds like organ music. And there are uh, pews, uh, just a few, like uh, six short pews. Um, side and then there's an altar at the far end of the basement with a, a long curtain behind it and there are two seated uh, robed figures sitting in the front pews so the camera is looking at their backs and there is not mute and they are not moving and he and does 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 does, does, does that camera go infrared or heat signature. Clear. Yeah, no, a couple dBs. Trey says, uh, yeah. Um, uh, let me switch to infrared real quick. And he taps some buttons, and there's some heat coming from uh, some equipment behind the curtain, but there is no heat being given off by the two robed figures. No. <laughs> So fly up damage. further into the ceiling to look down at the two figures. Can it can it check for uh, electromagnetic fields? And Trey says no, not equipped for that. So he um, sends his uh, mental command to uh, move the uh, drone up to the ceiling and look down at the faces of the two robed figures. And when the camera moves parallel to them, uh, the figures move and rotate upward. And it, they're actually a couple of guns in turrets that have had rope that have had robes uh, dressed over them. And you hear gunfire, and the uh, camera feed goes dead. And Trey says, "Damn it!" A that was camera? my favorite. That was Lefty. You have Lefty. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe between between Red Eye and 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 Jinxie, they can uh, bring bring Lefty back back from the uh, the abyss. Maybe <laughs> make 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 her yeah. stronger and 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 quicker and faster and. Le left lefty will become the 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 million eddy uh drone <laughs> okay um is red eye going to try to hack these two turrets or are you going to just uh chunk an emp grenade down this down the stairs well you know we're gonna try to hack them all right Okay, the uh, module actually calls for each of these to be on a separate net architecture, but we're not going to take that much time, so there's just one simple net architecture here. Okay. It's got three floors, and you can access it from... You are within range. So you can access it right now. Let's do it. Make them battle each other. 
<laughs> we haven't come up with that 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 porta potty program yet, Jinxie. <laughs> Why do I keep running right. into these shitters? <laughs> Each one smells worse than the next. <laughs> oh, that one had curry for dinner. All right. Uh, which of your two cyber decks are you using? My main. Okay. And what programs do you have loaded into that? I have the Asp, Armor, Deck okay. Crash, Speedy oh, Gonzalez, yeah. Black Ice Skunk, and something to back it up. Because it only had seven slots. Yeah, each of those Black Ice is supposed to take up two slots. Both okay, the take Asp the back... Take the backup device out. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, you read, um, you uh, log in, and uh, there are three floors to this architecture, and immediately when you log in, there is a black ice that is on your floor. So, are you attempting to uh, slip by it, or are you going to attack it? Let's uh, go after it. Okay, a figure that looks like a black raven uh, reses in your view, and it's like uh, circling around inside the bar near the ceiling and it locks its red eyes on you so first we're going to make a speed roll this is your initiative you're going to roll your tin cider and you're going to add your interface never more never more <laughs> Fifteen. That beats a nine. Okay. Uh, Red Eye goes first. I say Titanoboa! Up here! <laughs> okay, that's your first net action. What's your... You've got three net actions. What's your second? Um... So, it's not a net runner, it's a program, right? Correct. This is Black Ice. It is uh, the anti-personnel category of Black Ice. Okay, um... <laughs> So, how would a Speedy Gonzalez work? Oh, um, that was a bonus that you were supposed to have added to your initiative roll. So you actually got a 17. Okay. All right. Well, I guess all I got is my ass, so... Because all the other ones target Netrunners. Okay, so so you instruct the asp to attack. Yes. All right. Oh. Do you have handy the stats for the asp? No. Are you saying ASS or ASP? ASP. A asp. A -S <laughs> I mean, that's what I was assuming, but it sounded like ass a lot. <laughs> a lot of ass. He has a, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him with my ass and I was like what? <laughs> Okay, so a score of two. So, all right. Um, uh, roll me a ten cider and add two points to it. Nine. Ooh. Okay, the raven does a roll of seven. So, all right, that's a hit. Let's see. The ASP, when it hits, destroys a single program installed on enemy Netrunner cyber deck at random. So, uh, describe to me how this, how your ASP, your Titanoboa, destroys the Raven. It opens its jaws, goes up in the air, and just comes down like a. Uh... What a, I just comes down and just swallows it whole, and then. Uh... Okay, that looks amazing, and uh, <laughs> nobody else here was able to see it. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> God, like that was awesome. We're just sitting We're watching the great white. Yeah, but in <laughs> augmented reality that only Red Eye sees, the entire chapel shh. And digital dust gets tossed into the air. And it leaves behind these black feathers Greatest that are floating to the ground. Of all time! Uh, had the. Oh, over, Jinx. I think Red Eye won. <laughs> I've been had making the, more uh, cocktails over at the bar, so. Had the Raven hit you, it would have derezzed one of your programs. But uh, the ASP is a, is a little bit stronger. It actually destroys the program. Right. So uh, if you want to go down to floor number two, um, it looks from where you're standing like there is another black ice waiting for you there. And then at floor three, um, uh, you don't know what's down there yet because you haven't scanned for it. I want to attack the black ice for a thousand bob. <laughs> okay. While that is happening, uh the machine um kind of leans into the stairwell and says Somebody is moving down there. I hear footsteps coming this way. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay, she steps out of away from the stairwell. <laughs> <laughs> what thickens? All right. Um, since uh, no shots have actually been fired yet, um, Calvary, are you using your backup roll ability? Yes or Not no? Yet. Okay. No. All right. Okay, uh, so keep that in my back pocket. <laughs> and he pulls out a handgun. All right, now, uh, for Red Eye, um, there is now that you've uh, eliminated the block ice, there is an elevator button that is hanging in a virtual reality um, in front of you and just off to the side. I take the elevator. Okay, you press the elevator, you hear a ding that only you hear, and Use then the... Oh, I was thinking floor. more ominous uh, organ music, but yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Second floor, ladies' lingerie, women's perfume. Yeah. The elevator button kind of slides upwards and uh, disappears into uh, the ceiling. And then something rises up out of the floor. And it looks like a skeleton. A digitized skeleton. 
A metallic skeleton draped in black robes. Hands are studded with blackened rings that spark with electricity. You are facing a black ice called a lich. It is also the anti-personnel type. I hate liches. <clears throat> are you trying to buy it or are you attacking it? We're going to hit it with the quickness. Okay. Uh, roll me a 10 cider, add your interface, and this time uh, we will remember to add your two points from Speedy Gonzalez. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, yeah. You only got an eight. So you beat him to the punch again. How are you going to attack this lich? I am going to whip it with my tail. Make sure you whip it good. Try to shatter it. Okay. Uh. When you say tail, do you mean the Titanoboa? Yep, sorry. The Titanoboa. Okay, okay. Uh, yep, roll your ten cider and add, uh, what did we say? Uh, two points. That's the Titanoboa's attack stat. Ten. Seven. Okay. Uh, yeah, the Lich got a nine for his defense. So that is a successful attack. And uh, the Titanoboa, does it do any damage or does it or does it just destroy a program? I think it I think it that it just destroyed the program. Yep. Okay. So uh the Titanoboa uh hits the lich with its tail and uh, shatters, uh, sending metallic bones everywhere. Whoosh. I smacked it. Okay. Then, uh, from the stairwell, a uh, robed figure appears, and when I say appears, I mean that one of the turrets got thrown up the stairwell with its robe still attached, and it's uh, shooting wildly around the room. Oh, that, that sounds like fun. <laughs> so, uh, Cavalry, Jinx, are either of you seeking cover? Yeah. yeah I'm by the, I was by the bar making Molotov cocktails, so I dove behind the bar. Okay. <laughs> uh, cavalry, there are, there's a bar here, there are tables. There's a stage. Where are I'm you taking? Going... Uh, we'll go with the stage. Oh, okay. Uh, you uh, dive onto the stage and real and realize, oh, this is terrible cover. There's. <laughs> <laughs> That's I I was hoping there was a back door. Thing. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> okay, uh, the machine and Trace, they're uh, knocking over a table. And let's see, the bar takes um, not enough hit points to destroy it. The table takes... Uh, yeah, uh, enough hit points to destroy that, so it crumbles, but it doesn't but it still managed to protect the two characters who were hiding behind it. Now, everyone make an initiative roll, including Red Eye, please. The ten. Yeah, ten cider I'm plus... Rolling, right? I rolled a one. Okay, what's your reflex score? Uh, is, hold on. 
Uh, an eight. 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 Okay. Fifteen. I would, Sorry. I would like you to roll another ten sider and subtract that from eight. Seven. Okay, you're going on a one. Go <laughs> where? Uh, which is okay. Uh, the boss rolled almost as poorly as you did, but not <laughs> quite. Uh, Jason, what'd you get? I got I go a nine. Nine, okay. Uh, red eye, Arky, 15. what you get? Do I subtract anything from that? Uh, no. That's because no, she rolled a... because uh, she rolled a one. Okay. Yeah, I got 15. All right, 15. Okay, I think that uh, Red Eye gets to go first. Uh, you are still in... Uh, you are still in the net architecture, but you can also move in meat space. So you can take a meat act, and that action, your choice. The gun is firing wildly, right? Yeah, it was. It looks like it spent its entire magazine, though. Okay. It you can just drum firing. That's a nice tail. <laughs> I, if I put him down, he jumps up again. <laughs> so... <laughs> I try to like let him be up there long enough to get bored, but then he started trying to eat the mic. So, so should I go to the last level of the architecture? Yeah. You don't know what's down there yet. It could be something useful. Let's live dangerously. Let's go down to the third level. Okay. Ding. <laughs> Where is where is Red Eye, by the way? Has he like hidden at all, or is he just standing in the middle of everything? She is hidden. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> okay, so uh, she you're is behind always the hidden. Okay, and yeah, uh, what comes up uh, out of the floor this time is a, a little. Uh, glowing control panel in the air that uh, uh, looks like uh, some uh, vampire's diary uh, with a quill and ink next to it. So this is a control node. It controls the uh, one remaining uh, gun turret that is downstairs. I want to take it over. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be another die roll. Okay. Roll me a ten sider. Add your interface. Ten. You roll the ten. Yep. Roll me an extra ten and add to it. Oh boy. <laughs> Uh, plus a four. Okay, 14 uh, plus your interface, which is how much? Five, Five points. So 19. 19. Uh, more than adequate. You have now taken control of uh, this turret, which still has its robe draped around it, and there is a little camera uh, that is on the rail at the on the top of the gun and it can rotate around 360 degrees but it cannot move on its own and it's going to require a meat action to fire it so uh, you'd have to do that next round it's all right i get to play with a gun And you are looking at the back of a bald, uh, seven-foot-tall figure standing at the bottom of the stairwell. Okay, uh, Calvary, you're up.
do I have a straight shot to be able to launch one of the EMP grenades down the stairs? Uh, yes. You can shoot a grenade down the stairs, but you can't target anyone down the stairs because you can't see them. Okay. But it's got a 15-foot blast radius, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, first, uh, you gotta shoot to, uh, hit the stairwell, which is not going to be a hard roll. <laughs> But I want to see if you roll a natural 1 or a natural 10. So go ahead and roll me my, your 10-sider. I rolled a 4. All right. And this would be a shoulder arm, so that's uh, adding 12, so... 16. All right. Roll me, please, a six-sider, and let's see what effect this has on the cyber-psycho who is downstairs with you. Five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right, roll me your six-sider again. Five. Well, one up or one down from that. <laughs> okay. Um, red eye is able to see when this thing goes. Uh, when this thing goes off, uh, if there is a bright flash and then uh sparking that happens. Uh. Uh, near the top and near the bottom of this guy's body. And he, he kind of spazzes out a little. And then, what happens to the turret? And the turret stops broadcasting. You can't see through it anymore. Sorry. I don't get to play with a gun now. <laughs> no, you don't. Sorry, Red Eye. I was going to shoot him in the head. <laughs> okay, Trace is going to move behind the bar because he doesn't think that his table is good uh, is good cover anymore. So he's going to join you guys. Um, Calvary, you still have your movement allowance if you want to move. Yeah, I'll move to cover. Okay. All right, you can kick over another table. There's still plenty of those. And it's a nice sheet metal table. It uh, looks pretty sturdy. Then uh, a machine, what is she going to do? She is going to... All right, she is going to... Uh, step towards the... Oh, no even better idea. There is a hatch from the attic, which opens up, it drops down, and there's an unfolding ladder, and another figure in a red robe starts to step down from there. So the machine, she runs across the room to intercept that guy coming out of the attic. All right. Then, uh, because Jinx uh, rolled so poorly on her initiative, uh, the cyber <laughs> is going to move. Is going to go next, and he is going to run up the stairs. And he sounds heavy when he comes upstairs. You hear ka clomp, ka clomp, ka clomp, ka clomp, ka clomp. And when he appears, you are looking at uh, the image of Count Orlock, uh, who uh, was previously wearing a nice uh, uh, costume suit, but uh, the grenade that went off kind of shredded it. So it's smoking a little. And he glares at you with his uh, rat teeth fangs. Not what you want to see. 
Ooh, somebody hit the ugly tree and hit every bant on the way down. You know, when that guy was born, the doctor slapped his mom. <laughs> <laughs> How far back in time did you have to go for the jokes? <laughs> so, like, they're going to sound new to like young people because they're so old that like they, they were forgotten in time. Yeah. <laughs> And I I use that one all the time. <laughs> My grandfather right, used you. to tell me this one. <laughs> great, great. And Count Orlock says something. I'm a dad he... too, so learn the meaning of superiority. And with that, he initiates a face down. This is the uh, social combat component of the game. Everybody gets to roll a ten-sider, and you get to roll your... And you get to add to that your cool stat and your reputation. Uh, Jinx does not have any reputation yet. The okay. other two players do. So... so Jinx only add her cool stat. Okay. Um, well, I rolled a 9 and I have a cool stat of 3, so 12. Okay. Warlock has a 16 and I had to re I had to re-add mine to make sure I did it right. Okay, uh We've got what four? Yep. Yes. Okay. So I've got a seventeen. Okay. Uh, Calvary is using uh, customized armor, and uh, he so he's paying attention, and so he's looking up. Uh, he's looking pretty cool and defiant. So add one more point to that. I I rolled a twenty. Nice. Good. Orlock had a 19. So in all opposed roles going forward, until one side or another is defeated, uh, he's going to have a two-point penalty to everything he does against Red Eye. And Calvary, you've got a two-point penalty towards everything that you do against Orlock. Okay. And, Al and uh, Jinx has a two-point penalty to everything that she has to do against Orlock. And I'm not even rolling for the NPCs. So they're going to be neutral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jinx, you finally get a turn. Okay. Um, and Orlock is up now? Like, in the room, or is he at the top of the stairs? Yes. Or? He is standing at the top of the stairs now. Yeah, and, he, um, a, he has a. Are you cut out? Oh, I just said he has a pretty good movement stat. Okay. So, what you got? What you doing? Okay. So, um, I have a flare gun. Okay. Kind of and um. <laughs> I kept, I kept one of the. Uh, I, I, I'm assuming I kept one of the grenades because I would have kept one of them. Yes. And that's uh, probably glued onto the flare, and I'm going to aim and try to hit him with the flare that has an EMP attached to it. Does that make sense? Um. No, no, your flare gun's not, and uh, is not a grenade launcher. Well, that makes sense. I mean, one of your flare gun. It's, it's specifically carrying a grenade launcher, so um, <laughs> so that to makes say, sense. The, I, I was thinking the they were like crawled, the... but it would make sense that they're bigger. So yeah. 
Uh, in that case, I'm going to hit him with a flare gun. Okay. Uh, roll me a tin cider. Add your reflex and your pistol and your pistol skill. If you have any points in pistol. Uh, no, handgun. That's what it's called. Handgun. Okay. Let's roll and then what? Roll and... Reflex. Reflex. And then, and then anything that you have in handgun skill. I only have shoulder arms, not handguns here. Um, okay. I rolled a nine. <laughs> okay, you are at uh, short range uh, because you're all inside in the same room. That is adequate. You're able to hit him. Thanks. So, uh, Blair doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does give him the uh, slightly on fire condition. Slightly hey, on fire. Hey, you're slightly on fire. I'm not a big yes. fighter, you know, so anything helps, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, roll me a six cider, please. Let's see how many hit points that does. Four. And I'm guessing I have the less two, but something. Okay. Oh, uh, and uh, Jinx does have the uh, cybernetics skill, yeah. doesn't she? She has cyber tech. Well, this way, cyber tech. Okay. Since you got it, I'll give you uh, this information. You don't have to roll this. Um, the EMP grenade that went off earlier, it did shut off two of his systems. It shut off his pain editor and his subdermal armor. Oh, so he's vulnerable. Come yeah, on. he's a lot more squishy than he was. But all of his weapons... <laughs> But all of his weapons are intact, so he's okay. kind of a glass cannon right now. Right. Can I duck back behind uh, the bar and start making more Molotov cocktails? Okay. Trace Santiago is going to shoot, and um, yeah, yeah, he shoots he his, his, his pistol, pistol, and it blinks, and, links, and it, it does a little damage. damage. Kind of catches Orlock in the shoulder. There's a little, and there's a trickle of blood there, but not a big splatter. Okay, this brings us back to the top of the initiative. All right, and I that means a uh, red eye. I take out my Hello Kitty, very heavy Hello Cutie, Hello Kitty. What the hell? Hello Cutie, hmm? heavy. Very heavy pistol. I take yes. aim and I fire at his head. Okay. Is this in uh, the regular mode, or it, or did you uh, flip the switch and put it in auto mode? Because the uh, the Hello Cutie has a uh, specific auto fire mode. That's its special trait. Automatic. Okay. Then your damage is going... Then uh, you're emptying the entire uh, magazine. Uh, your pistol makes a purring sound. <laughs> and uh, your damage is going to depend on how accurate you are. Okay. Roll, Roll me your ten-sider... With your reflex and your handgun, please. Okay. And don't forget to add two. Why would I add two? You get a plus two bonus to all of your actions against him. Oh. No, no, it's a two-point penalty. At the loser. Well, that, that that's for that's for me and Allison. He has yeah, a two point him. penalty again. Oh, he me. has a two point penalty. Oh no, oh, my bad. Sorry. 
You know, I... Oh, well, uh, what what did you roll? 25. 25, that's a hit. Okay, and uh, I was wrong. It's uh, damage does not depend... Uh, I'm looking up the... I'm looking up the micro cutie right now. Damage does not depend on the uh, accuracy of your roll. It does a flat uh, 4d6 in hyperburst mode. All right, roll me four six siders. Fourteen points of damage. Okay. How many sixes did you get? Just one. Okay, that is not a critical hit, but 14 points of damage. All right. Had his pain editor been intact right now, um, he would be uh, he would uh, be having no trouble. But because it's not, uh, he is now uh, critically wounded. So he's moving a little bit slower. I reload the Cal Hello Cutie. Unfortunately, that's an action. You got to do that next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Cal <laughs> what you got? What you got, Calvary? All right. Finish him! <laughs> What? How how large of a space? I mean, okay, our our grenades have a, a a dial that we can dial down the blast radius, right? All right, so I'm gonna dial it down to uh, a five five uh, meter. And then they have the little kitchen timer for when you want. <laughs> right, so I, I pretty much I want like uh, as as much of a. Uh, uh, or as, as okay, not as quickly Are as possible type thing, but as soon as impact type thing. <laughs> All right. Are you shooting it or are you tossing it? I'm gonna toss this one. Okay. Then this is going to use I, your. I'm figuring it would take more. It would take more than two actions to adjust it, load it, and then fire it. Correct. That's a 10-sider plus your athletic skill plus uh, dexterity. All right. And, oh, you know what? Orlock was uh, capable of dodging those last couple of shots, and I forgot to uh, let him roll. He's definitely going to try to roll. He's definitely going to try to dodge this one. What you got? I rolled a 10. <laughs> oh. And then a 5. Wow. <laughs> okay. So that's, that, that's, that, that's 50 plus you said my dexterity and my athletics. Yeah, all right. So you uh, launched, uh, so you uh, toss a grenade and manage to make, uh, make it uh, clip and hang uh, right on the front of his pants. Here, catch! So yeah, that, 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 that's, a, that's a 22, then minus the two penalty, so 20. Okay. That EMP grenade goes off. Um, do you uh, roll me uh, two six-siders. Uh, this was an EMP grenade or a regular grenade? This is the EMP. EMP. Okay. Yep. Yep. Roll me two six-siders. Four. Okay. And six. One. Two. Three. Four. Chipware. Okay. Five. Six. All right. Um. So he lost uh something that uh, he wasn't 
he wasn't currently using anyway, and uh, one of his cyber weapons. That'll help. Uh, Machine also gets uh, clipped. She was uh, just at, we'll say that she was just at the edge of the blast radius, because I really don't want to uh, dig out a combat map at this time of night. So, all right. <laughs> Uh, she lost uh, use of her uh, grenade launcher that's in her left arm, but she's still got the knife. Uh, speaking of the NPCs, uh, let's see what they're doing. Uh, Trace Santiago is going to shoot again. Okay, he's going to plink Warlock for only four points of damage. And then the uh, dude from the top of the stairs appears, and I've got a picture of him, but he's uh, wearing a long red cloak, and he's carrying a flamethrower. Ooh. Uh-oh. So this is, this is the guy that came, that's coming down from the attic that uh, yeah. the machine is engaging? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to post that picture, and but the machine was holding her action, so she's going to get to take a swipe at this guy first. That is... Ah! That is the wrong picture. Come on. Copy, paste. Oh my goodness. Copy, paste. Not difficult. There we go. All right. Machine is going to stab at him. Uh, pretty good. Oh, and she scored a critical hit. Uh, four point. You know what? Um, I'm, I'm not even going to bother to track this. Uh, she tears his, th she, uh, tears his throat out. I'll do it. That, that'll do it. It's, a, yeah. it's, an NPC. it's an NPC versus NPC skirmish. Uh, they're just uh, fighting it out. L. Uh, that means it's Count Orlock's turn. So he is going to charge a random target. All right. Number one is going to be Jinx. Number two is going to be Trace. Number three is going to be Cavalry. Number four is going to be Red Eye. Five is going to be the Machine. And if it's six, I'll just re-roll. A one. Oh, good. <laughs> I forgot. Who did I say one was? Was that Jinx? That was me. That was Jinx. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the vampire, uh, rushes you, and, uh, you're the player who did not see, uh, the anime version of Cyberpunk, so you don't know what this looks like, but this guy is moving with superhuman speed. And he's going to... And a pair of, uh, large metallic claws comes out of his left hand. Uh, he does the same movement with his right hand, but uh, the claws on that side aren't working. <laughs> well, they come out of his left hand, and he is going to attack you, and I just rolled a 1. <laughs> Followed by a 10. Okay. Um... <laughs> malfunctions, and he rips his own face off. <sighs> uh, Allison, uh, roll me a 10-sider and add your dodge skill, please. Dodge and Dexterity, which is a little pointless. At the... But, uh... Hold on, I gotta roll up and think. Uh, I'm just letting you roll in order to uh, know by how much you are embarrassing this guy. Okay. I don't think I have Dodge. Um... Oh, is it Evasion? Evasion. Yeah. You. Evasion. Okay, so... 
24. Okay, uh, that's good. Yeah, this guy's... Wait, wait. I think it's... Yeah. His skill was so high that he still ended up... Uh, he made the worst possible roll, and he still ended up with a 10. So uh, you actually did need a... You actually did need a good roll on that. <laughs> uh, he reaches for you with the claw that uh, didn't... That didn't work. So that comes up short, and then he comes back with the... Uh, other cl with the other claw, and the one that does work, and he gets a second roll. Okay, and you get to dodge again. Okay. Team. Not adequate this time. It's only a 3d6 weapon. Or uh, he did not get a critical hit. Um, he did nine points of damage. And I believe that the armor you're wearing has a stopping power of 11, so yes. no damage gets through. Uh, he does, however, tear a chunk out of your armor. Reaches Did down and... No, your armor. Gotcha, okay. Okay. You are not bleeding. Okay. Right. You are not scratched, uh, but uh, your protective clothing was. So it's been degraded slightly. That uh, brings us back to Rhett. No, no. I almost uh, robbed you of your turn. Allison, uh, Jinx, finally gets to take an action again. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, like, right in front of me? Yes. He has a shotgun on. Um. Nope. Somebody's a little, a little bitter that they got their armor chunked. <laughs> yep. Roll your ten slider, add shoulder arms and reflex. Twenty-seven. Ooh. Oh. What's this guy's duh? Twenty-three. Amazingly, uh, this guy was able to dodge it. Well, he's like a huge, crazy, fast vampire, so yeah. Yes. Um, uh, That uh, brings us back to the top of the initiative. Uh, yeah, he sort of, he sort of just jerked out of the way as uh, the shotgun went off. And so you killed the seal. You put a seal <laughs> into it. Fair. Uh, red eye. Did I get one of them grenade thingies or no? Yeah. Yes, you did. Oh, and can I move, or did, was that action for the shotgun thing? I don't know if I want to be, like... Oh, yes, you can also move. That is... Your yeah. movement allows to separate from your actions. So, you can... Okay. You can move. Okay, because I don't, I don't think I want to stick around this guy. I think I would like to move away from him very much. All right. Uh, your movement stat is... What is that? It's at the top of your character sheet. Movement? Uh, six. Yeah. Okay, that's that's enough to get out of the blast radius of what I think is going to be another EMP grenade. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, Red Eye? Yes? I'm gonna say, here, catch this! 
Hot potato. Uh, Red Eye, just go ahead and roll the two six siders. Let's see what. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you knock out. Ten. Uh, no, individually. What are what are they? Five and five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's his other. That's his other Wolver and his vampires. Okay, you have knocked out all of his cyber weapons. He has no other weapons. Uh, he can still brawl, but um, uh, this late in the night, and I still have to go to work. Uh, I'm going to say uh, uh, the next person in the initiative, uh, which is going to be Calvary, is going to get the killing blow here because he is out of offensive options other than, like, Headbutting and kicking you. <laughs> so we're not we going to drag good, out guys. the <laughs> Uh Calvary, uh, tell us uh, how you kill this guy. I draw my heavy pistol. Eat lead vamp. <laughs> okay, right between the eyes, or yeah. right in the pointy ear, or. Right in the dick. Yeah, right, 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 right there. Right between <laughs> the eyes. Does he have cyber eyes? Uh, he, they, uh, looked organic, but yes, he did have cyber eyes. Okay. Both of them. And he, he had a lot of light, uh, of, uh, cyber eye options, too. He could see in the dark, uh, three different ways. <laughs> gotcha. I'm um, gonna be scavenging once he's dead. Dead, by the way. <laughs> okay, and uh, then uh, next um, in uh, private messages or something, I'm going to give you a list of all the loot you got. Uh, you just uh, blew the head off of Count Orlock. He collapses. Uh, that and the dude with the flamethrower uh, lands on the ground at the same time. Plunk, clunk. And you can explore the uh, basement well, at your leisure. There are no longer any booby traps left here, but I do have to get to work soon. All right. So, so we'll just cut it short perfect. here. We can pick up. This is the perfect stopping point. You have uh, completed the module. And uh, what you find in the basement, we'll go over that next time. All right. Well, cool. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, it was awesome. Thank you. I Thanks, can't Scott. Wait. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> I can't thank wait you. to play another module. Uh, thank you to Sonia. You can find her on Twitch at Yumbrella Chicken. Under Yumbrella underscore Chicken. Uh, you can find our friend Shannon at Ms. Direction. Two Zs. One word. You can find me at Arky76, and we will see you again next time. Uh, it's been Kirk. Wilson. Jason. Cyberpunk. Good night. See you guys.